Today I'm revisiting just the software for this setup. This is an Arduino with an MLX90614 infrared sensor. And I'm going to change the software so that I get more accurate readings from it. One of the issues is as you begin to approach this, your readings will start to go up as you can see over here. Let me show you over here. You can see the readings increase as I get closer. And then as I reach some point where I should be, you know, the optimal distance, they level out. And then as I back away, uh, I get farther and farther away and the readings change. So it would be really good if I could get rid of those readings as I approach the sensor and as I'm backing away. I want to, ideally, I want to keep the readings just where my finger's at the optimal point. So uh, that's what this program does. This program is going to throw away the uh, readings that are, as I approach and as I uh, get away and it's going to average the readings in between so that should give us more accurate results. So let's uh, take a look at the software. I'm not going to go through the hardware in, in detail. I've got another video on this where I do that. So uh, yeah, if you want to see uh, the basic software about how to operate this uh, and the hardware setup, yeah, please go watch the other video. Otherwise, we're going to go on and we'll go uh, look through the software over here and we'll see what makes the difference between this and the most basic software version to drive this setup. Okay, let's get started. This is written in C language for the Arduino. This is the higher accu accuracy version. It is written for the MLX90614 IR infrared non-contact temperature sensor. Uh, it is going to read the sensor data in degrees centigrade and Fahrenheit and also give us an ambient background in both centigrade and Fahrenheit. Um, note that the MLX uh, 90614, I've said that so many times today, I'm trying to get it messed up, uh, will read from minus 70 up to, and this should be plus 380 degrees centigrade, whereas the 90615 begins at minus 40 and goes to 115. This has a much narrower temperature range and it's more appropriate for things like animals and people, whereas this is more appropriate for industrial applications. And notice that both of these, they need separate libraries. So if you want to use the MLX90615, you need a different library. Okay, now moving right along, uh, include the wire.h library. This is to allow us to work with the I2C bus. And the next is the Adafruit MLX90614 uh, uh, library, and that is for our sensor. This line is to define a nickname, if you will, for this call, so that I don't have to type it out in the full length of this every time. And it also is setting the address, it's telling the library that I'm going to use this address hexadecimal 5a for the MLX device. These are the variables I'm using. The first one is an integer and it's just 500 milliseconds. It's the delay time between the main loops over here. The next thing is the number of readings we're going to drop each time. So I'll drop two highs and two lows and that's a total of four. We're going to take a total of 10 readings to average. Now, obviously you can configure these to your needs. Uh, I have found that once you get around 50, it starts slowing way down and it's, yeah, it's not really good. So uh, if you can keep your readings to less than 50. Uh, these double arrays right here, the first one is for the object in degrees centigrade. The next one is for object in degrees Fahrenheit. This is ambient centigrade and ambient Fahrenheit. And these will store 10 values of each of these. And these are what we're going to take uh, as our, uh, this array. From this array, we will take 10 values. We'll drop the two high, the two low, and we'll average the middle six. And these doubles are going to be the accumulators where we store the results from doing that averaging. Next is our setup routine as required by, by the Arduino. And the first line is 909600 baud, and that is to create a connection with the uh, COM3 port, which you see running over here. And the next thing is to initialize our MLX90614. I also will not go into great detail today on this sort routine. I've got a, a video just in terrible detail on how this works. 
But what's going to happen is we're going to pass our arrays here up to this sort routine and it's going to sort the routine in ascending order from low to high and that will allow us to easily drop out the low values and the high values and then average the middle values. So when you see that sort you'll know that that's what we're doing. This is the main routine, the loop, and this is where we're going to get the data from the sensor and we're going to print it. I also have a note to myself that this MLX uh, read ambient temp returns a double value so when you declare variables uh, for these values you need a double. This for loop is going to, this is where we're going to get our values from the sensor and we're going to start at zero and we're going to go up to our uh, less than so it's going to go from zero to nine basically we're going to get ten values and we're going to first of all get the object in centigrade stored in here then we're going to get the object in Fahrenheit stored in here, uh, ambient centigrade here, and ambient Fahrenheit here. And then we'll repeat this from 0 through 9, and we will populate these arrays. As soon as we're done with that, we're going to call that sort routine, and we will sort these arrays, again, from in ascending order, from low to high. This loop, we're going to go from drop average, which you remember is 2, up to 10 minus 2, so that's 8. And what we're going to do is we're going to take those middle six values, so we're going to drop the two low, drop the two high, so we're going to go from uh, 2 to 8, and we're going to take those middle six values and we're going to accumulate them here for each of our, for each of our temperature ranges. So this is object centigrade, object Fahrenheit, ambient centigrade, ambient Fahrenheit. We're going to add up those middle six values. Then down here, we're going to actually do the averaging. We're going to take those six values and we're going to divide by average minus drop average, which is two times two, which is four. So it's 10 minus four, which is six. So we divide those six by six and we get our uh, end result, our more accurate result. And we do that for each of these four. Down here, we actually print what you're seeing over here. So you see this average C and then the arrow target equals, et cetera, et cetera. That's what is happening here. The first line is over to here. The second line is the background. Background equals, et cetera, et cetera, to centigrade. The next two lines print the same thing for Fahrenheit. Then I print this separator line, the dash separator line. I do our 500 millisecond delay and then I zero out our accumulators and we go back up and repeat this loop. And we just repeat this over and over again until we have, uh, well, this, this produces our results over here. So we just repeat it over and over again as many times as you need. So that's pretty much it. A, uh, quite a bit more complexity than just the simple grabbing of data, but it will give you extraordinarily better Results, uh, you'll have to tune these to your application. You may need more samples or fewer samples. You may want to drop out more or less. But anyway, this is a very good beginning. Okay, so I hope you found that useful and interesting in your Arduino programming and your MLX90614 electronic applications.